Welcome to the Fiji Symposium 2019 in Cairo, Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mahesh Utam Chandani, who is a practice manager of financial inclusion infrastructure for the World Bank Group. Mahesh, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off by talking to you a little bit about uh, the fact that people are not necessarily preferring digital financial services over cash. And I wanted to ask you, what do you think it'll take for the world's poorest people to prefer these? Uh, and uh, will digital financial services be enough, do you think, for this to happen? I, ultimately, it's going to take a whole number of things, starting from the ground, moving up to the more macro picture. But I think at ground level, it's going to really take a customer-centered approach, right? What do customers need to solve their financial solutions that will uh, encourage them to move to digital? That's going to include agent networks, and it's going to include easy cash in, cash out. It's going to include, obviously, mobile services, things that make people's lives easier. Ultimately, the products have to serve people's needs. But I think at a more macro level, we have to think about what is it that's going to take, uh, what's it going to take to digitally enable people in emerging market and developing countries. That's going to include IT infrastructure, it's going to include mobile infrastructure, it's going to include the basic uh, elements of a digital network. And I think we've got to operate at all those levels if we want to see this transformation. 1.7 billion people remain unbanked, and yet two thirds of them have a mobile phone. I mean, they're not all necessarily smartphones, but I wanted to ask really, in terms of this particular symposium, what do, does FDG intend to achieve in order to stimulate digital financial inclusion? I think one of the opportunities we have as part of this great partnership with the ITU and the Gates Foundation, the BIS and the World Bank is to share the experience of what is happening in the implementation at country level across the Fiji countries, of course, but also other countries. And so a big part of what we're trying to do in this symposium is to, is to really showcase what's worked, what maybe hasn't worked, and where have we learned the lessons about how to apply them to all countries outside the Fiji context as well. And in terms of uh, the expectations for this edition of the symposium? Well, I'd really like to see us um, zero in on some of the more thornier challenges to financial inclusion. How do we crack the 80% number? Even in countries that have been very successful, you know, we see the usage or the access to financial services top out at around 80%. And so how do we crack that? How do we also reach women more effectively? And you, th you use the statistic of 1.7 billion. We know that although two thirds of those people have smartphones or have phones, um, fewer women have smartphones than men. So how do we tackle that challenge of reaching women uh, who form a big part of the unbanked? And how do we do this in a way that um, really, I think, speaks to, again, a customer-centered approach that solves people's problems. And that's what's going to take us from access to usage. How do we make sure people don't just have access to a financial services account, but they're in fact using it? Now, the World Bank obviously has got a, a lot of uh, initiatives it could be involved in. What made this initiative particularly interesting? Well, I think this um, speaks very well to, first of all, a long-standing partnership we've had with the Fiji partners um, but also, you know, taking our Universal Financial Access by 2020 initiative and zeroing in on some countries that form a big, you know, uh, part of this initiative and how to reach really the two billion unbanked that we all want to reach by 2020. And the Fiji initiative really contributes to doing that. But the focus on digital, that's a unique aspect of Fiji, I think also um, is where we see this work going more broadly. And Fiji gives us an opportunity to work in depth on this in some select countries, and again, take those lessons and apply them beyond the Fiji countries. Well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today, and we hopefully will catch up with you again at some stage in the future too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.